Orlando. Ready for the kick. Match referee Callan Radisov, we're underway. Racing Louisville in the lavender Spacing uniform. Spacing create those turnovers. They're just a sl slight bit aggressive. Obey's pass head, Sinclair knocks it forward. Daquila looks for it. Picked up instead, and then shot wide by Linehan. And, and quite frankly, Portland has not defended their box well all season long. That's been one of their Achilles heels this season, is their individual defending inside the penalty area. Coffey, another good ball. Fleming got it forward. Linehan firing it. Easy play for Katie Lund. Lund just had her single season saves record broken last night by Jane Campbell. Congrats to Jane Campbell. Fleming, Canadian international. Another Olympic tournament for her. Moultrie, Linehan on the cot, takes the shot right at Lund. And that all starts, good attacking sequence there from Portland Thorns through the combination of Sam Coffey and Jesse Fleming. That is a pairing that this Portland Thorns team needs to get going as they continue to hunt for playoff season or even in postseason play. Because the alchemy and the, the balance in the midfield hasn't been great for this Portland Thorns team. And we talked Abby Ersig spent five years with North Carolina before coming over in a trade. Flint, formerly with San Diego, got it ahead, pushed to the right for Sears, three in the box for Racing, ball comes across to Mello, wide. It was there for Savannah DeMello on a terrific setup. <laughs> Becky will step over, it's Savannah's, and Hogan knocked it down, kept it in front of her. And DeMello opts to try to just bend this one around the wall, up and over, gets it down, just doesn't. That is the final whistle. First half has come to a close. Savannah DeMello had the best chance of the opening half of play. Because I think she's touched the ball one or two times inside the penalty area tonight. One of three NWSL originals to play for the same club in all 11 seasons and 12 if you count COVID when they played Challenge Cup and Fall Series. Lauren Barnes, Jess Fishlock of Seattle are the other two. Second half underway. And the team that's going to have to take more of the risk is Racing Louisville. Foul was called early on. Linehan. Aaron Wright picked. Linehan tucks it in. Moultrie brings it into the box. Moultrie, tough angle. Saved by Lund. On the turn, Malay right into the box. Headed by Balser. Nice save by Hogan, and she's got it. Had to see if that one was going to get by her off of that. And this all stems from a turnover racing, getting numbers four. Good ball out of the back, looking to Bethany Balser in a central area. Those are the opportunities that racing are one of, going to want to take advantage of. Balser just a glancing head. Played it back. Taylor Flint holding it. Oh. Had a player open. It was Peterson, but it's picked by Smith. Nice ball ahead. Dequila. Looking. Turner was calling for it. Now it's played back. Trailing is Moultrie in the box. Raylan Turner fires it over Lund. This turnover dishes it out to Dequilla. Raylan Turner occupies two center backs of racing. That leaves space for Moultrie to include herself from a late surge. Might be coming in as the game's first sub for Louisville. Ball was taken away by Reyes from DeMello. Sophia Smith against Aaron Wright. Smith on the dribble into the box. Could be trouble, but it's stopped by Lund. I love watching Morgan Weaver play. I mean, she plays 
with such joy, the fierce competitive nature. She's mobile, willing to put in the hard yards defensively as well, but a poacher in front of nets can score a wide spectrum of goals from the spectacular to the tap in. Always turned over, Sophia Smith on the break in transition. The Thorn Smith shot and stopped there by Lund. Flint. Sears, knocked out, throw in. Kayla Fisher, in for Sears. Cut off by Coffey. The pickup, Millet. She went sprawling down, didn't get a call. Morgan Weaver takes off. So does Sophia Smith. Weaver keeps going, forcing Louisville to retreat. Sophia Smith, 1v1, takes it inside. The touchback for Smith. Didn't have much on it in the end with right there defending. A central position. Here's that isolation. Waits, waits, waits. Makes her move, then comes into a central position. Little combination play. Great touch from Morgan Weaver to just set for the shot. Right side, Sears. And the Sears cuts. Fisher, Buckeye to Buckeye. Stopped easily by Hogan. Just the fourth corner of the night. Towards the middle, headed, go! Flint! Taylor Flint has the clutch gene in her. Great delivery from Janine Becky from the spot. It's the initial positioning of Taylor Flint in that near post area, screening Shelby Hogan, pops off in what an incredible finish. Glances it. Twisting and turning. That was Malay that time defending. Oh, it slipped through. Moultrie in the box. Moultrie looking for the shot. It comes back out. Morgan Weaver, that's blocked. Weaver stays with it. In front, stopped by Lund. Portland only scored from one free kick all season long. Moultrie's pass across, headed down. That was a close call. We're past the seven minutes of stoppage. We'll go no farther. Racing Louisville with a one to nothing win on a Taylor Flint game winner.